So I'm back visiting Ohio with my mom, the bread queen, which means of course, I need to do another bread video with her. So mama, what are we making? We're gonna make focaccia, a rosemary, sun-dried tomato, and roasted garlic focaccia. You guys, it's so good, so stinking good. <laughs> this is a recipe that I stumbled on uh, several years ago. It has a lot of variations, but I love this combination so much, I just kind of keep going back to it. So it's kind of become a signature focaccia of mine. And you know, it's not just me and mom here. There's someone else. It's dad. <laughs> well, and he gets to eat the focaccia too. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so the night before, we did the prep work. Cut the top part of the head of garlic off and try and expose as much of the individual cloves as you can and seal it very tightly. Bake at 425 degrees. Start checking it at 40 minutes. You can see it really does come out like butter. Yeah, roasted garlic is amazing. Now, let's prep the dough. So you will combine five and a half cups unbleached bread flour, two heaping tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of table salt, and one pack of instant rise yeast. Mix that together, and last, add your water. The key to making good focaccia is it has to be a very wet dough, and you want to, instead of kneading it like you do with bread dough, you want to stretch it and kind of fold it over on itself. That's how the yeast develops the aeration that leads to a lighter dough and, you know, more, um, more air pockets in the dough. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Of course Emmett wanted in on the fun. At the end, it's going to be like, um, like, like wet mozzarella. Pull the dough up to twice its size. Fold it over on itself. You repeat that a total of four times. Then add more olive oil, make sure it's totally coated, then cover and put in the fridge overnight. This is the cold fermentation technique. Morning from Ohio again. Okay, so we're on to the next day. Start by prepping your baking sheet with a silk hat liner or parchment paper and add olive oil. And then when you take the dough out of the refrigerator, you should notice that it's risen about twice its size in the bowl. And then gently transfer the dough onto the baking sheet. Oh, hey, Emmett. Then you'll drizzle two tablespoons of olive oil on top of the dough and start to dimple the dough uh, with your fingertips. After you've dimpled the dough for uh, about five minutes or so, you're going to need to let it rest for about 20 minutes. Okay, next we're gonna take rosemary, chop it up very fine, and top it on the focaccia. So after that 20 minute rest period, you will drizzle another two tablespoons of olive oil on the dough surface, and again, uh, just continue to dimple the entire mass. Make sure that it's uh, about an equal thickness and that you push it out almost to the edges of the pan. So after you're done dimpling the dough and before it does its long rise, you need to add the pre-rise toppings. For us, it was the rosemary and the sun-dried tomatoes and the roasted garlic. Make sure you push these into the dough. As it rises, it will envelop these ingredients. Next, you'll cover that dough uh, very loosely with oiled plastic wrap. Place it in a warm spot for about two to three hours until it's about twice in size. You will gently remove the plastic wrap. And now this is the time to add the, the pre-baked toppings. Our pre-baked toppings were the toasted pine nuts, but this is where you can add other nuts like walnuts or soft cheeses. Put the pan in the middle of your oven. Set the timer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, rotate it. And this is the time where you would add your uh, last minute toppings. We added asagio cheese, but you could add other uh, hard cheeses. Let it go for another um, seven to eight minutes. And you'll want to look underneath the focaccia to make sure that it's that the bottom is browning as well. Transfer it to a wire rack, let it cool, then it's ready to eat. You can really taste the olive oil and the garlic. I think those are the most prominent flavors. It smells so good. Kind of crunchy on top. Mm-hmm. All those flavors are just such good friends with this focaccia. It's they almost just love hanging out here. And you know, it's like bread meets pizza. 
It is! Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, tell them, tell them what not to forget. Oh, keep it quirky. Do it. <laughs> Staring. <laughs> no, it's a sit. Be a good boy. Be a good dog. <laughs>